So there's a huge difference between saying, I'm angry and slightly, I feel angry, or there's anger in me. I feel that there's anger in me. I feel angry. There's a somewhat a, a difference between I am angry because then you equate identity with the emotion. Understanding emotion is very difficult at times. And in this video, I show you how just a five minute express meditation can change not only my energy, but the energy of my whole team. So watch to the end to see the results. It's quite amazing. What can you do in your meditation practice to help yourself when you're in a situation where you feel a lot of strange energies from the people around you and quickly you need to reset. You quickly need to connect yourself and use that connection to help you in order to be able to manage the feelings and the energy you're getting from any kind of strange, toxic or negative vibes around you. Um, maybe it's just more a question of turning on your light, turning on the light and the vibration of everyone around you so that you can help the situation when things are just a little complicated. You know, I went downstairs to work today and I just found I was very sensitive and I felt the energy of just everybody was just a little bit dense and heavy and a strange attitude and so I just thought I would quickly pop this on. I didn't put the cats outside or anything so if they come in just um, take it as a meditation practice to focus with me. So take a deep breath, breathe in and exhale, relaxing your body. Another deep breath, inhale. Drop your mind into the heart center. It's usually the mind, the thinking, the thoughts, the analyzing everything that is what kind of freaks us out emotionally even more than just what we're feeling. So drop the mind into the heart center. I will also drop my throat chakra down into the heart center so I'm able to connect and share this video in a more connected heart center loving energy with you. That is my intention. And one last breath in and put into balance your masculine and feminine energy. The masculine universal energy and the feminine earth energy into balance in your heart center. See yourself as the beautiful androgynous soul being that you are in connection with the universe. Bring higher self into your being. And now Let's just take a moment to do a few breaths like the ocean where you breathe in through your feet, up through your heart center and release up to the universe any energies that are not yours, identifying what is your intention and your energy and releasing any energies that you absorb from other people in your space. And exhale out and into the ground, into the earth, any dense energies that no longer serve your highest good. Breathe in, relax, and out through your heart center through the back, anything that does not serve your highest good, you can leave it behind you. In this moment, we will be in no time, in no time, and we will be present here in nature, 
with the living beings in harmony, with the people in harmony. And now focus on the sun ball in the center of your chest. Beautiful, golden, warm, shining sun ball. And feel it expanding out. into every part of your being. And visualize the people who you feel are not vibrating on the highest vibration possible, but things are the way they should be in this moment. So don't try to change them, just try to be a beacon of light and try to create that beautiful, loving sun energy inside the center of your chest and expand it out in every cell of your body and raise your vibration. Every cell is vibrating in this higher, beautiful, golden frequency of light. <laughs> and the donkeys went outside. It's be an interesting meditation to just Allow, just allow the noises and everything around to just be as it is. And exhale. Now, feel in your solar plexus any energy feels out of place or is not yours. Release any tension, fear, nervousness, insecurity. And breathe it out down into the earth. And take another deep breath in. Connect yourself again to higher self and open your eyes. I think I'm being called to go take care of things again. Now I'll go down again with a new energy and a new vibration. We all have moments where we feel extremely uncomfortable by the energies of the people around us. And the best thing to do is I just escape for a moment. I came up, I didn't have time to you know, prepare the video and put the cats in the laundry room and put the dogs downstairs. But I thought, you know, this is an example of our everyday life. And I wanted to share this video to help people understand that we all go through these moments. I mean, I literally went downstairs and felt the most uncomfortable vibes from everybody. <laughs> Had no idea what was going on, started feeling very uncomfortable, very out of balance. And I just said, I'll be right back. I came upstairs do this quick meditation. It doesn't need to be more than five or 10 minutes and you can change the whole vibration of the place. So I will go down and see what's happening and I will report back to you later as to the change in the environment and the people after I did this meditation. I'll be back. Okay, so yesterday I did a test and we did like about a five minute quick meditation in a moment where there was so much kind of like heavy negative energy and vibes. I came upstairs, I did my meditation, and I told you I would report back to you on the results. So I came for a little walk and here I am. It was amazing, the change in everybody. I went back downstairs and we were able to get through the project. We did the 360 videos of 10 rooms. It was a lot of work, but as I focus my mind to change the vibration and send my heart-centered energy out to the people on my team, to 
what I what I managed to do is to to lift the vibration of myself and the people around me enough that as we worked any kind of strange vibes and feelings and stuff that was hanging around was eliminated and we had a much more successful day so in a five minute test of meditation of heart-centered meditation i proved to myself that doing this practice is definitely worth it it was definitely worth it i was almost able to rescue the day and the people and the situation by just being a little bit more conscious and mature myself and then everyone kind of followed suit and things worked out much better so try it out <laughs>